Hello, I'm Ryan Thompson, Assistant AD for Athletic Communications here at Davenport University. It's my privilege to be joined by head men's soccer coach Chris Hughes. Chris, uh, for you, you got your 100th victory here at DU last Friday versus Ashland. Uh, what does that milestone mean to you? Actually, I didn't even know we got the 100th victory until it was brought up by you guys. So, uh, but what does it mean? Uh, I think um, it means that we've, we've tried to build something special, um, a program where uh, we compete day in, day out. Um, uh, when I saw that article, uh, all I could think of is, is all the great players that have played here and or that play here now, uh, the great coaches that surround us on a day-in, day-out basis without all of them, that this isn't even possible. So what a wonderful blessing to coach here and 100 victories. Uh, hoping there's a whole bunch more after this. You know, go back to your first year here. You, you inherited a program that was right around the 500 mark, and you really turned that around quickly. Uh, what did it take to build a winner? The first year was probably the longest year of my life uh, here, for sure. And, and we really needed to tweak and change the culture. It was not easy. Um, it took time, but we were able to, to, to tweak that culture in a couple years and, and found some, some uh, wonderful victories and, and found a national championship in there. Um, but again, uh, the players that were here, I was reminiscing yesterday with a couple of the alum, and we've actually had one coming in today to talk to our current team and what an absolute legend he was on the field, but even more off the field. And I think that's what we try to do is not only prep him for game day, but, but prep him for the real world. And um, uh, I watched his highlight tape the other day, and it just brought back just wonderful memories of, of what this program has done over the last couple of years. And um, uh, what an honor it is to coach here. The pinnacle, obviously, is winning that national championship. Uh, go back to that time, and how rewarding was that for you? That year was 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 special, uh, for sure. You know, we knew we had a deep squad. Um, right in the middle of that season, we had a couple losses, uh, and we were like, "Hmm, how do we figure this piece out?" And and I got in a national tournament and 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 and, and found some extra. Uh, got into that final four, and 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 the boys just went crazy after that. They chose to believe in the system, the standards, the discipline that we were trying to teach over the year, and they finally figured out what we were trying to do and believed in the culture, and, and we had an absolute riot. Were we planning on winning a national championship? Not necessarily, but what I would say is, is – um, the depth in that squad, the staff, the amount of time, the effort of that year, it just made it that much more special. And looking back on it now, what an absolute fun time that was. Every little piece, the traveling down to Delray Beach, the time spent down there, the relationships built, even watching our alum now playing professionally overseas. Uh, what a true honor it was. And we're trying to build off that as we go into NCAA Division II, and we're hoping to to uh, uh, do some good damage over the next couple of years in the, in the NCAA. You know, going into this season, you're about halfway through right now, Coach, and what are the keys to having success for the rest of the season? It's been, for sure, a challenging year for us. You know, we've had a bunch of injuries and all at the same time, so we haven't even been full strength yet. Um, don't want to make excuses, but it's been a challenge for sure, and, and, and uh, we need to eliminate what's going in the back of our net and, and coaches are working on a daily basis along with the players trying to figure out how to, to adjust that. Um, I think we're taking some good steps um, and um, we're waiting for the boys to really kick in. We're looking forward to the weekend at Parkside. Uh, they've got a good squad. Um, looking forward to, to playing at their place. We haven't played there before. Um, but one thing we will do is we will fight uh, through the rest of the season, and uh, we're going to let the cards fall where they may. But uh, do know that this program will, will, will go at it. Once again, congratulations on the milestone here at DU. And for all things men's soccer, you can visit dupanthers.com.